guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a review for the Bondaloon uh, switch uh, blower valve. This is the E1 switch. This allows you to vent to atmosphere and also recirculate um, from the blower valve. Now, this was sent over kind by Ben from the North East group and I've seen these on the internet but what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually test to see what these were like when you've got the forge induction kit fitted and we recirculate. Now most people will go for the vent to atmosphere one. Now I heard one of these the other day when we went to the Italian meet and they sounded pretty cool, a lot louder than the filter. In the packet you get a nice little clip so you can secure it down and then hopefully I can get this out with one hand. Fingers crossed. That is the thing, nothing else. Oh hang on, no, there is as a sticker. He sent me a red sticker. Oh, it's got a bit of a knock on it. Hopefully that should be alright. Uh, but anyway, that is all it is. Now this is the new version guys. The new version comes with this uh, red little switch. Uh, the 2020 versions, the new versions. They are super well built. You can definitely feel the heft of this version. I don't know whether it's the same for all the others, but this being the big daddy version, it's very, very substantial. Let's just see if we can get this loose. I'm not to I don't know whether you're supposed to release that. So anyway, basically what you need to do is you do need to bolt it down to where the other blower valve is and then pretty much just reroute it. Now I've had to buy some of this piping because uh, I can't find my recirculation pipe. So I do actually have it somewhere, it's, I've kept it. But uh, we're just going to test with this pipe here. This is just a um, standard pipe. It's probably not going to be the best thing. It's got a bit of a metal wire running through it. so. Probably not going to be the best thing, but it will give us the idea and the sound of what it will sound like through a forge induction kit. So, uh, yeah, let's go and get this on the car. Hayley's waiting outside for me. So I'm going to go outside to the car, and hopefully we should be able to test this and see what the sound is like, because the one I heard the other day sounded absolutely insane, guys. So um, give us two seconds. I'm going to walk out to the car now, and uh, we'll get this fitted. So as you can see, I've got this uh, BMC pop-off filter on. Um, and everybody seemed to really like the video of this, so we're going to give this a rev and hopefully it will uh, show the sound once Hayley gets in. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to have to change the entire bracket, that's what this is, it comes with this bracket, to swap it over. So when she's ready. And again. So pretty good. So pretty good. It sounds, you know, it gives you the sound that you want. I was really impressed with it. Um, I don't know what that sound is. We turned the keys off. Yeah. Um, oh, there it goes, gone. So hopefully now we should be able to pull this off. I've just loosened this clip. So this should just come off. Obviously, if you guys are just buying this straight away, um, what you will do is obviously you'll need to change the pipe that's here, take the pipe off completely and you put that on. Um, I have got a video on my channel for that. So we need to remove these these bolts here from the looks of it. So we're going to get on to doing that and then hopefully it should just plug in because it's basically going to go in like that. That's pretty cool. So we'll get on with it. I'll see you in a sec. So once you've took the filter off or the pipe, you want to take these bolts down here now these could be a bit well no they're not too bad um, you can see just there so these are a 10 mil 10 mil nut so I just want to loosen these off this one might give me trouble probably a good idea to get a um, an extended bar this is giving me trouble 
There we go. So a little bit tricky on that one that's rusting. So just want to release these and that should release the bracket. Hopefully that will give us a bit more uh, bit more access to this one-time clip. The bath love one-time clips. So we want to remove this. Give us two secs, so we'll carry on with this. So guys, when you have removed the the, the moth from, from the bracket at the bottom, you'll be able to get to this pipe that is holding on to um, the blow-off valve. Now, it's a bit of a strange clip, and it's round the back. If you can focus on that, you can just about see it. Now, I've loosened this a little bit. And this clip is slightly different to the other clips that we have on the car. Now, this middle pit here is normally flat, and this side is also flat over the top, very similar to this side here. So what you want to do is you want to pry one side, pry the middle, and then hopefully at that point then, this will now spin so you can get a better idea. So when you actually zoom back out a little bit, you can actually see, you can see now, the actual clip a lot easier and then all it is is basically working at it until it will come loose it is almost loose really now um, so I'm just going to work at this I'm just going to get this this clip undone uh, and then we should be able to really bolt it all together pretty quickly so there is the comparison guys so you've got the new one versus the old one obviously made out of plastic and these tend to fail as well when you start running more boost and things like that so, I mean, we just wanted a better sound as well and the ability to, now it's out, you can switch back and forth for a different sound. So, uh, we just need to mount this now with the bracket that's uh, given to us with Ben. Um, so, this was not too bad once you get the actual clip off. Um, you can get the clip half off uh, and then pull it towards the actual blow off valve and then you can pry it out really easy. Don't use anything um, sharp with it. But just wiggle it out and it will it will come out. So really now what we need to do is we have to plumb this in. But first of all, we'll get the bracket bolted off on, uh, and then we'll go from there. As you can see from here, I used an impact on the rusty one and snapped it. <clears throat> Impatience is not the key, guys. You want to take it nice and slow. As you see, I snap this bolt. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just bolt it up with the one bracket, with the one um, the one um, stud. Uh, because we're not going rallying or anything crazy just yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the sheared part, part take this sheared part to the to the garage down the road and hopefully he'll have a he'll have a bolt that I can just swap these guys out and then hopefully it'll be all right but yeah if yours looks like this guys don't use an impact on it it was really stupid of me really to use an impact um, just use a regular old ratchet because it was coming I just wanted to be quicker with the job so yeah take it nice and easy and don't shear bolts like what I've just done so, fitting this on I'm going to have to do this nice and tight because I don't want this coming loose and I was going to I was going to drill the holes out of here guys and fix it which I could have done but because of this being painted so nicely I didn't really want to ruin anything so I've decided not to do that um, where is that nut? Here is the nut. So the nut goes on the top. And then on we go. Okay boys, so you can see the bracket's nice and tight. Obviously, again, we are missing this bolt. So that will come later on. I don't like things like that being left, so that will be changed. This is the clip. So that's going to go over this bit. So you want that nice and over there first. And then we want to get our bondaloom. Hopefully it should just slip. Yeah, it just slips in nice and easy. And then on we go. <laughs> and then that is a simple case of doing that up. Now these are normally a 7mm um, socket or you can use a phillips head or a flat head and then once you've done that then it's just about plumbing this up to there if you've got the standard one if you've got the standard one what you want to do is you don't want to you won't be bothering with this it'll literally be a case of this to here and that'll be it 
uh, and then yeah pretty much it's just plumbing this little hole here now to the rest of the induction kit and we should be good to go and there's loads of clearance for our adjustment on our wheel and I'm guessing we could even turn this slightly if you wanted to to get a better fit so pretty nice easy install and the other thing you need to remember is to make sure you clip this in I've got this clipped in I believe this is the right way I'll double check this in a moment but as you can see here um, best way to tell is there is um, there is two pieces here you can see just here um, this is a, a smoother side and on the other side it's more of a jagged edge so it can clip on um, just here so and also this this part here is facing downwards to the yellow part so if you guys need to know that that's that's a, an easy way of figuring it out so yeah that needs took in out of the way and then we're just going to get this makeshift pipe to go to the rest of the induction kit which is just here uh, and then that is literally how easy it is guys so as you can see guys now i've got this plumbed in with this pipe it's a bit rough um but it should be fine it's all pretty sturdy uh, so make sure obviously you put the Jubilee clip on at the bottom here so it doesn't blow off same on this bit here it's all just done up so we can hear it on the video and then on here as well uh, and then really then all you got to do is if you want to change the sound is drop that down or so I'm gonna get Heidi now to start it up start it up Try it again and again. Wow. Right, okay. And again. Okay, and sound in here. So you can still hear it even with it turned off, but it sounds so much louder. Oh yeah. And it's turned off. So we're going to go down the road, I'm going to go down the road and test it for sure to make sure everything's fine because I don't want to wake everybody up, uh, but that's what it sounds like. Um, yeah, pretty impressed, really loud, definitely a lot louder than the standard filter. So uh, so yeah, this needs a bit of a clean before it goes to one of the other guys. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll get in the car and uh, take it for a spin. Right. So me and Hayley... We're gonna go out together and test it, see what it sounds like. Excited? Yeah. So. Should sound really good. You got clearance or something? Yeah. Tight getting out. Oh, I sound oh yeah, you're just about to see it in the camera. <laughs> well, I haven't heard it go yet. And normally, if you guys, I don't know if you guys know yourselves, but the standard one seems to go pss, 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 all the time mm. when you're just driving slowly. Sounds different. It does sound very different. one it's set to whether it's set to open or set to close. Oh, you can hear it more on my side because I bet if you drop that down. You can hear it a lot more now. That's what it is because it's because it's on the passenger side anyway. I always said that about the filter. Filter was always. It's a lot louder. <laughs> you can hear. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a little taste because that's my new exhaust as well. Yeah. 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 
It's louder. It's louder. It's a nice sound though. It's like it sounds like it sounds like what it should sound like. It's a bike in front. Right, I'm gonna pull over here in a minute. This is a there's a place where I pulled over before on a video. I'll pull over here. I'm gonna switch it. And hopefully we'll see a difference in the sound again. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'll give you guys an idea what it sounds like. I'll turn it loud then. Yeah. Just doing that then. Yeah, so much louder. Alright, let's switch it over. Okay. Switch it back over now. And again. Okay. So it sounds a lot more subdued. Yeah. Can you hear it more in the cabin? Yeah, you can hear it a lot more in the cabin. Okay. Yabo. Right, let's go again then. Let's see what it sounds like in this cab. It's definitely a lot quieter on the outside now. Oh, no. <laughs> Motorbike wants to race. <laughs> Wait for me. Ah. So it sounds louder when you switch it. it. Sounds louder when you switch it. Into here. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see what I hear. Let's see. Was it open or closed? I've changed it now, so this is the quieter setting. Because you might want to be a yobbo with the windows closed. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear it more. <laughs> so windows closed. Wow. That's more I don't know if it's more my taste, but there's definitely people out there that are gonna want that. Because with the forge induction kit, the forge induction kit, everybody knows how well and how good the forge induction kit sounds. Pair that with the dump valve recirculating into the actual cabin, you get both sounds. You get the induction noise and you get the blow off noise through there, through the, uh, you can hear yourselves, it's a lot louder inside, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I'm so glad that I've got the switch one, because it means that when it comes to the winter, what I probably will be doing is having the windows up. I mean, if anybody knows me, I have the windows down pretty much all year round. Yeah. But when it rains and things like that, you just switch that switch, put it to the interior, You've got yourself the same sound, but it's more for you. It's definitely more for you. Um, it's yeah. Nice sound. It's really nice, isn't it? I'm really impressed with that. Yeah. It's definitely an upgrade from the filter. Don't be wrong, the filter's fantastic. It does what it, you know, for a couple of quid. If you're not into, you know, if you're not going to be remapping your car or you're just doing something, you just want the sound of the turbo, it, it, it does what it says on the tin. I've, I've had it on for six months and it's been fantastic it's not been a problem at all um, they're a bit expensive I would say I mean I got mine cheap if you guys remember I got mine for about a tenner off, a, off a, another guy I'm giving it to another guy for a tenner because I don't think that they shouldn't be selling them for 40 quid they're just a tiny little filter and they're 40 pounds they're not worth 40 pounds at all um, but that being said, the, uh, the BMC is absolutely fantastic. If you're just wanting something cheap and you want the sound, the turbo sound, that's what I wanted. That's the reason why I bought it in the first place. But going down the modifications route, which is the way we've gone with this, and I've got, you know, custom exhaust, you know, forge induction kit and all that sort of stuff. I'm dropping this window down. It's so warm. It's so much better, isn't it? Yeah. It's so much better. I would definitely, yeah. definitely recommend the Bondaloo for sure. And it, it has that 
ease of fitting compared yeah. to I've it's seen nice. videos. It's very quick. It's one of the quickest ones you've done, I think. Yeah, I mean the forge, the forge blower valve. It's not exactly difficult to do. There's definitely more involved with doing the forge, but ease of use and sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's an upgrade over the standard. I can't not recommend it. It's really, no, really it, good. It's it's a good bit of kit. It's really, really good. Shout out to Ben for allowing me to get it at a discount um, because I, I said that I'd do a video for him. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Bondaloon do some really great, great stuff. I've yeah. got on this car, and the video will be uh, either before this one or after this one, but I'm doing a short shifter, uh, putting a short shifter into the car. Um, and we took that all the way up to Scotland with the short shifter in. And anybody that sits in my car, guys, if you see me at a meet, come sit in my car and test out the short shifter because it makes a world of difference. Um, Oh, it's it's so much different. So the Bondaloom stuff, it, it is quality stuff, and I do love Forge stuff as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, if you guys have got a Forge blow off valve, it probably sounds as good as this does. But uh, ease of use, ease of fitment, you know, anybody could have fit that. I mean, you looking at that, you would have been happy fitting that, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah. Um, that one bracket Pretty is simple. a bit of a pain. The one little clip is a bit of a pain to get out, but that has nothing to do with Bondaloom at all. It is down to uh, the Abbas put in their stupid clips on because they do it for everything. So, a um, little quick um, sort of video to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that shout out to Ben once again, and uh, we'll see you very soon, guys. More coming on the channel very, very soon. So, uh, bye for now. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye.